Hello YouTube and welcome back to another one of my videos. So sorry about the weird camera angles, but my tripod is currently missing, so that's fun. Um, if you can't tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a DIY tutorial, I believe is what I would call it, on uh, liquid glass slime. If you haven't heard of that, it's slime that like, it's not too like, um, watery so it actually like holds its form a little bit and it's like completely clear um one issue though with the recipe that i'll be using is that uh there are air bubbles in it and you are going to need to let it sit for a couple days in um, an airtight container so that those air bubbles can rise and then it will be completely clear um but yeah let's get started so what you're first going to want to get is a uh, bowl of hot water which i've already prepared off camera you won't really be able to see what I'm doing, but I'll explain it, and it's a fairly simple recipe. Then you're going to take some baking soda and just add it in there, and stir it in. And when you stir it in, if it all dissolves into the water, add a little bit more until like it's not necessarily holding in the water. So it looks like mine went completely in, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit more. All right, so, uh, and then just keep stirring it. The water will get a little cloudy, um, which is normal. So then I'm just gonna set that off to the side because I, you don't need to worry about that quite yet. And then you're gonna need clear glue, uh, which, because I don't wanna put glue in like my household bowls, I just cut some old water bottles and I'll just use those for this. So, yeah. Uh, and then you're just gonna empty it into the water bottle or whatever you're using to put the glue in. I did this once off camera and it turned out really cool. But like I didn't put mine in an airtight container, so it didn't last very long. So if you if this is something you want to actually use like later on, make sure you actually do seal it up because it does dry really quickly. And then you basically can't do anything with it. Alright, did I get all the glue? Just about. All right, I might pour some more of that back in later while it like gathers at the bottom again. And then you're gonna need a contact solution. Um, the recipe that I saw didn't say a specific brand, so I honestly just got the cheapest kind I could. And just add it in so that there's a pretty good layer on top of the glue. I would say just kind of squeeze it for about like 10 seconds. And then once you do that, take a spoon and stir it in. You know, the funny thing about slime is that like any recipe you use is kind of just like what do you want to add with the recipe. So like I'm not following a set measurement. If you want to, I'm sure you could follow them online. My main goal in this video is just to let you know what you have in like the main steps for this. I'm not using measurements because every time I do that, they don't work. So I'm just going to add what I think. So I'm going to add a tiny bit more uh, contact solution because it all went into the slime or not slime the glue. So as you can see, it's kind of getting air bubbly, um, which I would say is a good indicator of like there's enough contact solution in here. Um, but just to be sure, I'm going to add a little bit more. There's glue on my hands. I need a napkin. If you guys are, are wondering why like all of the spoons and stuff that I'm using are like weird colors, um, they're leftover from a graduation party. So <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to use like actual silverware for this because I don't want to, as I said earlier, wreck anything. All right, so this is looking really good. It's starting to get a good consistency with it, which is, I think, what we're looking for. Um, and then what you're going to do is this is where the um, baking soda water comes into play. So you're just going to pour the glue and contact solution into the baking soda water. Uh, don't pour it in too fast. Just pour it in kind of slowly. It should sink to the bottom or and just like kind of fill the whole container. I don't really know what I'm trying to say about that. Um, not all of it will come out of the bottle right away. So if you have patience, wait. But if you're filming a video like me, I would just stop as soon as it's kind of not dripping anymore. And then I'm going to take the spoon that I used for the glue just because and you're just going to stir it around a little bit so that all of it kind of hits the water. And then this is like kind of the cool part coming up so I'm just going to stir it a little bit 
And what's cool about this is that it'll actually, like, as it hits the baking soda in the water, it'll kind of, like, uh, scoop around the spoon a little bit. I didn't add enough baking soda my, to my water, so I'm going to add a little bit more now. Being sure to not pour it directly on the glue. Sorry, there's just, like, a lot of me staring down. <laughs> that light right there, ugh. Sorry about that, everyone. This is another one of my videos in the kitchen. Aren't you so happy about that decision, you guys? How are you guys, by the way? Comment how your summer's been or what you're doing, if you have any fun trips planned. Now, this is what kind of happened last time. When it initially came out, it had to dry a little bit and just, like, kind of form. So I'm just going to um, put the spoon in and swirl it around the glue or, like, the whatever you want to call it this is like not working okay yeah never mind it is working guys it's fine it's just kind of it's still warm so it's a lot when this stuff gets warm it's a lot more uh, gooey and it doesn't necessarily hold shape which is why you gotta put it into a cup to let it cool so I'm just gonna grab some of that right now and just put it into this ah, look at it <laughs> See how it's, it's, I mean, it's pretty clear. Um, it looks white right now from that stupid light, but it's clear. It just has a lot of air bubbles in it. Ooh, it has a nice texture. I like it. Okay, I'm actually going to make, like, a big mess if I'm not careful. Yeah, like, it's already drying off and getting a better texture. So when it's still, like, really sticky like this, just kind of grab some of it and use it to take it off your hand. All right. And then I'm gonna add more contact solution because it's still sticky and I know the contact solution will get rid of that. Not too much, just a little bit. And then I'll stir that around in there a little bit just so that it's not sitting all in one place. I still have some in the bowl right there. I'm just gonna let that sit and not use that because I don't want that much. So I'll probably just throw that away. But yeah, so here it is. I should probably let it cool off a little bit longer, but I don't want to. So this is your uh, clear slime. Uh, remember, if you do want it to actually be like clear, um, what I saw from the websites that I was looking at is to just uh, put it in an airtight container so it doesn't dry out. And then uh, leave it there for a couple days or hours even would probably help. And it should get rid of all the air bubbles uh, for the most part, but yeah. So here's my liquid glass, and I just proved that you do not need a recipe to make this, but it's like stretchy, and I don't really know what you do with this. I mean, it actually feels kind of nice in your hand. And as you use it more, it's not as sticky, which is also really nice, because I don't want this to like constantly be on my hands. But um, if you decide to make this... Um, Please comment below how it worked for you and if this recipe actually worked for you. So thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're new here and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, and comment if you're going to actually use this recipe. Thank you. Uh, see you later. Peace out. <laughs>